Hey guys, welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna be doing a test drive on a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. This one here's got a 350 under the hood, power steering. It's also got front disc brakes, rear or drum. Dual exhaust out the back. Lots of new chrome all over the car. Go on over to maplemotors.com. You can see all of our inventory. We also have financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. Every car on the lot has close to 100 detailed pictures, a test drive, and a walk around video right here on YouTube. You can search any of the cars by putting in the year, the model, Maple Motors, and also include the VIN if you wish. This one would be 1957 Bel Air Maple Motors, hashtag 878. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, we're gonna look around the interior before we take off here. It really looks good. Interior's in great shape. Got my bag back there. Package tray looks good. Headliner's a little bit loose in certain spots. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? And start her up. She starts up nice and easy. 350 under the hood. See the engine temperature is up. Oil pressure is up. Bolt meter is not hooked up. We'll try the radio. Newer style radio. Um, I don't think it's cutting on. Have to have that fixed. Blower motor. It is working. No AC on this car. I can show you the mileage. It's I can't stand behind it because it's a 57 model. 100% stopping at the gas station. Uh, I'll check that and see if it works. Windshield wipers. Let's see. That's our headlights. See the gauges popping on there. Both sides are working, but it seems like somebody stole our blade here on the left. Trying this horn out. Y'all ready? There's no spring in there. Horn does not work. All right, let's take off down the road. Okay, let me get this seat belt on here. These look like new, uh, newer style seat belts. Go ahead and mask up. <laughs> Clutch is letting off pretty good. Letting off right about halfway. Power steering belt's making a little bit of a squeaking noise. Anything that I see on this car, I will point out. That's why I do these test drives. Our needle is broke on our speedometer. It's just a nub. Waiting on some of this traffic to go by. Get 
Woo! Brakes are touchy. They're stopping fast, but sounded like they tried to lock up a little bit. Let's try them again. They're stopping fast. to it now getting the feel of the car turn signals are popping up on the dash the left one is not popping up over here the bolt could be out I am pulling in the gas station right here I'm gonna get about $20 worth of fuel in this car that way I know for sure we're not gonna run out of gas. Cause right now it is buried on the E. All right. We'll be checking this gauge out guys. Let's get some fuel. All right, on this car here, the gas cap. It's right above your tail light. So we're gonna throw about $20 of premium fuel in here, and we'll check this gauge out. See if it works. All right, so getting ready to cut the uh, key on, as you can see, gas gauge is still on E. And it looks like it works. It jumped up a little bit, didn't it? Uh, well, it's not 100% working, because $20 would have got us close to half a tank. We will watch that gauge and see if it moves. I knew the rain was coming, but it's trying to come in right now. Just now sprinkling. So uh, we're gonna roll out of here and try to get back to the lot before it starts pouring. So far so good though, engine temperature is still sitting at, at 180. And oil pressure's at 50 while we're riding through the park a lot. Everything's still the same on the vitals. So. tilt y'all down a little bit before I pull out check everything yeah looking good all right that'll work <laughs> on this car I'd say highway probably 65 mile an hour
turning right on this road right here. About halfway down, we're gonna hit a speed bump. You listen for rattles and shakes. Kind of give you an idea on suspension. Do have to manually turn off your turn signal. Speed bump is right here. Not too bad, nice and smooth. I didn't hear a lot of stuff shaking around either. All right. Just sprinkles. So we didn't get soaked, we didn't uh, dirty the car up. That's a good thing. We'll take her back to the lot here. In the day, I'm actually going to go down to Brian's Motorsports and check out this Jeep they have. They're putting it up on auction on eBay, so I'm going to put the link up for it. I believe it's like a $200,000 Jeep. The build cost, that's what it cost. It was a fully customized Jeep, so it's worth checking out. It's very cool. Okay. We have made it back to the lot. We're going to pull in here. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Wish I could do more today, but it uh, looks like the rain's getting ready to set in, so. Well, we can try reverse. I used it a few times, but you didn't get to see it in the video. Not too bad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post classic American muscle cars almost every day. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. I do appreciate you riding along with me. If you enjoyed the video, I have a notification bell up in the corner. Click it, and it'll tell you every single time I post a car. One other tip, if you check our website on Mondays, that's when we update with the new inventory. You get first dibs on all the new cars. If you wait till Tuesday or Wednesday, odds are most of them are sold. That's how it is up here. And I'll keep pushing these videos out to you. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.